The goddess Gaia was enraged at Zeus and the Olympians for locking up her children, in order to avenge her children, the Titans. She nursed and nurtured Typhon, the absolute horror for centuries. The goddess Hera, wife of Zeus, was always suspicious of her husband for good reason. It didn't take long for Gaia to convince Hera that Zeus had, once again, misbehaved with another woman. Mad with jealousy, Hera turned to Cronus, the evil and twisted Titan who was chained in Tartarus and asked him for help. Cronus, who hated his son Zeus, gave Hera two eggs that were to be buried together. From both of these eggs, a single creature would be born, a demon capable of destroying the gods. From these eggs, Typhon was born, who was neither a human being, nor a god, nor a beast. Hera was frightened at the sight of him, but Gaia took him with her to raise him and prepare him to face the Olympians. He was the monster of monsters, so tall that his head brushed the stars. When he opened his arms, one hand reached to the east and the other to the very west. Instead of fingers, he had a hundred dragon heads. From the waist down, he was made of vipers, which sometimes hissed up to his human head. He had a winged body and gave off flames from his eyes. Then at last, when Typhon reached his full strength and power, Gaia decided that the time had come to hurl him against his enemies. The gods themselves were terrified when they saw this immense monster rise towards Olympus. The vipers hissed and the dragon heads roared fiercely with the roar of an army of giants. Hera was sorry for raising the monster, but it was too late. Seeing that she was attacking Olympus, the gods fled to Egypt, where they turned into animals so as not to be discovered. Only Zeus and his daughter Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war, dared to confront him. Zeus tried to obliterate Typhon from afar with his thunderbolts, but he failed and was finally forced to fight him hand to hand with his steel sickle, the same one that his father Cronus had used against Uranus. He managed to wound him, but the monster's strength was almost boundless. In a violent and swift attack, Typhon wrapped his vipers around Zeus's legs and knocked him down, tearing the weapon from his hands. With Zeus' own sickle, the monster wounded the god, cutting the tendons of his arms and legs. It was not possible to kill Zeus, however, the god had become completely harmless. Typhon carried him on his back and carried him to a grotto, where he finished tearing off muscles and left him buried. He wrapped the god's muscles in a pouch made of bearskin and placed it in the care of his sister, the dragon Estelle. She was a hideous half-woman, half-reptile creature. Only Hermes, the god of thieves, could have deceived Delphine, and so he did. Secretly, he approached the dragon's lair with his son Pan. With his magic flute, Pan played a lulling song. Delphine's huge head began to fall asleep, and her eyes closed. While his son continued to play restlessly, Hermes stole the bearskin pouch from the dragon. Later, between the two of them, they managed to restore Zeus' strength, putting muscles back in place. With a magic potion, Hermes healed the wounds of the great god, who was soon fit to fight again. Zeus returned to Olympus and mounted on a chariot with winged horses. He set off in pursuit of the monster with his thunderbolts. Typhon, surprised by an enemy he thought he had defeated, fled in the direction of a mountain where he had been told there were magical fruits capable of multiplying the strength of whoever ate them. When Zeus was about to reach him, he tried to defend himself by throwing whole mountains at him, which he pulled up from the ground. With his thunderbolts, Zeus threw the mountains back at him, hurling them into the air. The mountains struck the monster, making him bleed and weakening his strength. Typhon realized that he could no longer defeat the god. Now he could only think of escaping. He tried to cross the Sea of Sicily as fast as he could, but when he was reaching the east coast of the island, Zeus grabbed the biggest mountain of all, threw it with all his might, and managed to crush the monster underneath the rocky structure. From then on, Typhon was imprisoned there forever, under Mount Etna. The flames emitted by the volcano are said to be the fire in his eyes. From that moment on, the universe was finally at peace. <laughs>